In this video, we are going to implement some custom serialization logic, so when we swap the scriptable object for an item, we are going to also swap the sprite in a sprite render automatically. Hi, I'm Peter and welcome to Sunny Valley Studio Tutorials. So to make our code more data driven, we may want to use scriptable objects that contain all the data including the data about the image of an item. But if I want to place them in my scene, I need to assign this scriptable object, but it does not update the sprite of my sprite render, so now I need to find the sprite that is responsible for, the, that is assigned to this scriptable object, and I need to assign it by hand, so it is a lot of work. Since Unity already has a mechanism to serialize fields in, in the inspector, so we can also add our custom logic to this process, so that we can automatically update the sprite image. So in Unity, the default script serialization allows us to serialize fields that are public or have the serialized field attribute, but there are some limitations, so not everything can be serialized. We can overcome it using the serializable attribute, but basically there is a way to run custom code during this serialization process. And this would be iSerialization callback receiver interface. Now this interface was created because Unity can serialize most of the data types but not all of them and in the case that, uh, that we need to serialize our own data we can use this interface which provides us with two callbacks. On after the serialize is called when you finish modifying uh, in the inspector the object and the data is saved back into the script so that it can, uh, the parameters can be used when we use this script. On before serialize, on the other hand, is called just before we see the new data appearing in the inspector. So when we select our object in the inspector, the data from the script is serialized into the inspector. So just before that, this callback is called and that's what we can use to implement our own serialization process. I will be using the end project from my inventory tutorial, you can find it on my channel. So I have this item script and basically when I press play, the data is read from our scriptable object, it is assigned, so the sprite is assigned to my item, so I can collect them. So, I would like this process to take place when I assign the scriptable object to an item in my hierarchy to the item object. So what I need to do is open my script that is responsible for storing the scriptable object. Great! And all I need to do is add I serialization callback receiver interface. Now this will require me to implement some methods, so I'll use quick action implement interface and if I slide it down I will see two new methods, on before serialize and on after the serialize. I will not use on after the serialize because this would be useful when we want to save additional data or save it in another form, but on before serialize is what I want. I want to place here some code. I will find the sprite render, sprite render equals get component sprite render, and if my inventory item is not null and sprite render is not null, I will access sprite render dot sprite and assign to it inventory item dot image uh, item image, which is simply the sprite representing my item. So now, if I save this and go back to Unity. Okay, you will see that one item is assigned because we have assigned it, but another one suddenly became uh, an apple, so I can disable those tags. And you will see that now if I swap the inventory item for my sword item, the item is uh, has become a sword. So you can see that now we can assign another item to be the sword and automatically has swapped the sprite of the sprite render. And if I try to manually modify the sprite to be something else, it will try to serialize the data again and my custom code will run and will swap the sprite back again to the sprite of my item. So that's exactly how you would implement custom code into the serialization process of Unity, so you can save some time. Okay, great! I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, it helps me a lot. See you in the next video!